You are now tuned in to BFTV, Buffalo Fanatics. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico. Back at it again, ready to hit you over the head with the state of the AFC East. We've done the Jets. We've done the Dolphins. It's now for the hated Patriots. Y'all been waiting for this. You know what I mean? There's, there's Shark Week, and then there's Patriots Week. Everyone stands the F up when it comes to Patriots Week. If you're a Jets fan, you're a Dolphins fan, and big-time Bills fans, you know when the Patriots come to town, yo, it's going down. Anyway, let's get right into it because we all know who the hell the captain is of that team, and that's Tom Brady. He starts it off at the quarterback position. Let's keep it real. If 12 is not on that team, that team ain't shit. Let's keep it 100. Now, people are going to try to make an argument. Back in 2008, when Matt Castle took over, when my man went down with an ACL injury, you know what I mean? They went 11 and 5. Maybe it's a system thing, right? You know what I'm saying? You can even make an argument for Jacoby Brissett when he went 3 and 1 as a starter. That one loss came to us 16 0. But let's keep it 100 with each other. If it's not for Tom Brady, there is nothing going down in New England. That guy is the GOAT, and I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can, right? I don't want to be a hater. I'm going to try to be straight as possible. Tom Brady's gone. It's not the same team anymore. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't respect them. But you got to respect the team when Tom Brady's on it. Now, who's the backup? Tom Brady goes down. Who's the backup? Oh, shoot. It's Brian Hoyer. I, 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 I'm lost for words. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Am I supposed to be, you know what I mean, shook? No, definitely not. And then you got Danny Etling, which is some kind of developmental quarterback from LSU that ain't going to touch the goddamn field. So the quarterback room is simple. Tom Brady is the guy. You know what I'm saying? And we know that he's not going nowhere for quite some time because whatever diet that man is on, whatever Giselle is giving that man, is making him play a little longer. You know what I'm saying? So we need to disrupt that shit ASAP. So until then, TB12 is doing a damn thing. And you got to respect it. Now, who's he handing the ball off to? Who's he handing the ball off to? Mike Gillisley? <laughs> we thought so. You tried it. You left Buffalo to go to New England thinking that you were going to try to make a career for yourself. But my man fell off. He fell off. Dude, he was, he, was, he was hitting the sideline watching the game as a damn spectator. Inactive. You know what I'm saying? And not only that. They draft Sonny Michelle, a bulldog from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? They bring in Jeremy Hill, which which should replace Gillisley. And then you got your James White. That's your that's your guy. And then you got Burkhead, the white hype, the great white hype. You know what I mean? I respect white running backs, man. That boy can run. He's nice. And he can catch the ball out of the backfield. So you're looking at Sonny Michelle, which should start. Jeremy Hill, eh. He's going to be battling it out with Mike T.D. Gillisley. And then you got James White and you've got Burkhead. Patriots fans are going to be like, yo, you're not putting enough respect on the running back's name. I am. Sonny Michelle, I like. Jeremy Hill, eh. You know what I mean? Gillisley, I mean, when he was when he's in the red zone, he's nice. I mean, we know. He was on our squad. But I don't know. You guys are, you guys are sitting there disrespecting the man. Anyway, so that's the running back room. Eh, it's all right. Are we supposed to be shook? Is Trent Murphy supposed to be shook? Is Jerry Hughes supposed to be shook? You know what I'm saying? Is, is Kyle Williams supposed to be shook? Hell the F not. No, not at all. We're not going to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Tight ends, Gronkowski. Gronkowski, let me tell you something, boy. We have star power now, boy. We have a middle linebacker that can run just as fast and is just as big. So watch your mouth. You can't be doing all this Gronk bullshit when it comes to Buffalo because Tremaine Edmonds ain't playing games, man. He'll, he'll, he'll lay the lumber on you because now we got someone that can match up height, speed, weight, and all that stuff. So you better watch your boy. You better watch your mouth. You mean Trey White can't can't you know what I mean? Trey White's a little man. You know what I'm saying? I mean you put all that weight on him. You don't think we forgot? Bills fans don't forget bullshit like that. We're gonna get you back. Don't you worry about that. But Gronk is a beast. Let's put that aside. That boy is nearly unstoppable sometimes. So now what we can do is slow his ass down. Slow his big ass down. And how to slow him down? By guys that can cover and the guys that can run. So Matt Milano, get ready. You know what I mean? Tremaine Edmonds, get ready. 
You know what I'm saying? We got Micah Hyde and, and Jordan Poirier that now we have an idea. They've, now they have one season together. So they should be able to kind of put things together. You know what I mean? McDermott running the DBs should be able to put something together so we can slow down TB12 and slow down Gronkowski. We slow them two fools down, it changes the whole dynamic of the game. If you watch football, you know exactly what's up. Receivers ain't doing shit. It's all in the middle of the field. It's your slots and your guy in the middle, which is Gronkowski. Occasionally, they'll go deep. Philip Dorsett might be that guy. And speaking of receivers, we might as well jump into the receiver room. We went tight ends, tight ends. Let me hit you with tight ends. You got Gronkowski, Dwayne Allen, and who cares? <laughs> you feel me? Let's just go from there. And who gives a damn? So right to the receiver room. Now, they've brought in some receivers. They've brought in some receivers that could maybe do a difference. I mean, you have your same guys. You've got your uh, Edelman that's going to be serving his four-game suspension. So bump that. Chris Hogan, Kenny Britt, Philip Dorsett, Mitchell on the squad. Um... You know what I'm saying? And and not a whole lot else. You know what I'm saying? So now you got TB12 that's got to build chemistry with these new receivers. You know what I'm saying? So before Edelman comes back and becomes his main guy. Do we have our hands cut out for some with some, for some heat? Nah. Because we got Vontae Davis on one side. Trey White on the other. We got Jordan Poyer. We got Micah Hyde backing them up. You feel me? And then we got Teron Johnson and Saran Neal in the slot. Ready to knock your block off. Yo, we, we are prepared. One thing that I've always been saying is you want to win your division, you draft for your division. You draft for guys like Gronkowski. You draft for guys like James White coming out of the backfield. You draft for guys like Tom Brady. You feel me? So you want to win, you got to have guys that can match up well and lock shit down. The game is with Gronkowski and Edelman. That's just what it is. Here's the Achilles tendon, New England Patriots. Nobody knows this. But you got to do some research. You got to do some research. It's the old line. And if the old line is the weakest link, guess what? It allows us to get to Tom Brady. Now, here's how we're going to do it. Nate Solder has taken the job for the fake New York. Because you know who the real team is. The real New York team is right here. You feel me? So he went to Jersey or whatever the F he went. He went to New York Giants, right? So Nate Solder has now left an open void of protection for Tom Brady. Let me give you a stat. Last year, Tom Brady took 35 sacks. He was hit 40 times. 189 pressures was put on Tom Brady. So don't tell me that we can't get to him. And the line just got weaker. So guess what? Jerry Hughes. Guess what? Owa Edizizawa. Guess what? Harrison Phillips. Guess what? Kyle Williams. Guess what? Shaq Lawson. Get your shit together and get after that quarterback. This is their weak link. We've got to be able to go in and get after that quarterback. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for that old line. They brought in Isaiah, Isaiah Wynn. Isaiah Wynn from Georgia was the same guy protecting my man, Sonny Michelle. Look for Isaiah Wynn to man that left guard spot. Andrews, that center spot. He's just average. A Marcus Cannon, the right tackle. And Shaq Mason at right guard. So left tackle is the open void. So they're going to probably put in Trent Brown at left tackle. Trent Brown, Isaiah Wynn, Andrews, Shaq Mason, and Marcus Cannon. Not a horrible line, but not a line that you're like, ooh, man, we got to we gotta scheme up. Nah, man, man-to-man, -man, bust his ass, and get to Tom Brady. And that's as simple as that. So I'm done with this offense. Defense, there's not a whole lot to say about that defense. It's a, it's a bend but not break defense. The diabolical genius in Bill Belichick. Belichick runs that defense that d-line is not a joke danny shelton coming from the browns was one of the better run defenders in all of the nfl last year and they were actually the top three run defending team last year because of danny shelton trey flowers long arms lean can get in use his hands very well and can get after the quarterback so trey flowers is definitely going to be a challenge for us going this year we don't have a strong old line i mean we just lost a few guys eric wood being gone rich incognito being gone so we got to shuffle things ourselves. so trey flowers danny shelton will be a problem malcolm brown on that team so that strong suit is going to be that defensive line then they brought in adrian claiborne from the atlanta falcons you remember adrian claiborne the man that had a monster game against the Dallas Cowboys with six sacks. Oh, yeah, that Adrian Claiborne. Then they got my man coming back from injury in Hightower. Hightower's coming back from injury. That guy's the leader of that team. You know he's going to be doing big things. And the one key cog that people aren't talking about, highway robbery. When the New England Patriots made a trade with the Detroit Lions, 
Detroit, shame on you. Y'all got rid of Kyle Van Noy and let him go to the Patriots. And I'm not saying he's a world beater, but that boy is underrated and he's nice. Rush is the passer, great tackler, and the boy drops in coverage. He lacks a little bit in speed, so that's where we come in and, and Shady McCoy gives him a little something and you're, you're cutting the dime and he's gone. But Kyle Van Noy is just as annoying as freaking Nimkovich. Nimkovich I freaking like. He was a bum in Miami, but when he comes to New England, all of a sudden he's ready to play. That's where that Bill Belichick comes in, man. Yo, next man up, they really truly believe that shit. Last but not least, we're gonna hit the defensive backfield. Gilmore, burnt toast Gilmore, but you can't call him that no more, but because my man had a damn solid year. He had a great year, you can't even hate. He had a good year, and they got rid of Malcolm Butler. So, Malcolm Butler being gone, Gilmore is left on one side. Guess who they brought in? They brought in Jason McCourty. Jason McCourty played for the Titans. Jason McCourty has a twin brother on the New England page in Devin McCourty. So you got the McCourty brothers playing together on the same team in the NFL. So look for Gilmore, Jason to be man-to-man, side-to-side. Then you got Devin McCourty in the back with Patrick Chung. That safety position is a weak one. You got Patrick Chung and McCourty at 30 years of age. I'm not saying that's old. I'm also not saying that they're whack, but they're certainly not spring chickens. So we should be able to look to take advantage of this wholeheartedly. New England fans, did I keep it real did i miss anything did i keep it as honest as i can i'm trying to be as as unbiased as possible how is new england going to fare how are they going to do this year are they going to win the division again do we have something to say about that do the jets have something to say do the dolphins have something to say we don't know because every year is a new year and we all gotta play for the same thing everybody's zero zero until the first six to seven to eight weeks, we now tend to we start to realize who's what. You know what I'm saying? And I I believe that the teams in the AFC got stronger. I think we'll be able to do big things. And with all the 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 beef that's happened, the internal beef in New England, maybe that gives us an edge. Quarterback not getting along with coach. You got coach, you know what I'm saying, not getting along with owner. You have owner best friends with the quarterback. There's a whole bunch of drama going down. Are they going to let that get to them or are they going to put shit aside and say, yo, we got championships to win? Lord knows Patriots have been beating everybody down for 17 to 20 damn years. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. You know what I'm saying? We we cracked the playoffs last year. Thank you, Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Respect. You know what I'm saying? But this is the time that we start to kind of build something. We got a damn good defense. We got a quarterback that's going to be winning the job. And then we got a rookie that's going to be, you know what I'm saying? learning the ways before he takes over and is the future of buffalo but maybe josh allen is the guy maybe he comes in and starts killing it in training camp that's when it all matters did i hold it down this video am i talking shit about the patriots or am i bang on tell me in the comment section i bring the fire i bring the energy that's what it is but guess what it's the bills that's next i hit the bills next jets dolphins patriots gone bills are next like this video share it and continue to show love to the buffalo fanatics it's your boy, and I'm gone. Bitch, I wanna party like